Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to make a white bookshelf. So we're going to press delete with, and we're going to add mesh plane. We press 7 from the memory keyboard. If you wish you can scale your bookshelf up. I leave it to that. If you want to scale it up, press S and scale it up. Um, I'm just going to show you the principle and later on it's you on, up to you to, uh, to change anything. So we go to edit mode. And we're going to over here. If you don't have that menu, press T. Under Tools, Transfer, you see Subdivide. Click twice, like this. Okay. And uh, now we go over to Face Selection underneath. Okay. And we're going to Extrude Individual. Now, press Escape. Otherwise, something like this happens, and I don't want that. Just press Escape. And we're going to select individual origin. You have to do it like this, otherwise it won't work. Press S, and now you can scale it down, you see? Now, what's important is that from here until here is the thickness of your thickest wood on the outside. So, select, I think that something like that should look okay. Okay, now we're going to delete delete only the face like that and we're going to delete the right because i don't want to do it another time so we're going to select visible and invisible parts press b to select everything now we're going to delete sorry delete faces and everything is gone now we're going to add a modifier so tools add modifier mirror and I want it clipping. So I change one and the other half should all be the same. Okay, the only thing that's left is to scale the thickness of these uh, wooden planks uh, to the minimum. So how do we gonna do it? We're going to vertice selection. We hold down the shift button and right click on these vertices while still holding down the shift button. Just right click on every of them. When this is done, select and bring it down. Pay attention, look to your left corner where you see the D value, this D minus 002. Uh, let's say 03. Okay, now we're going to select, right click on that one, shift, right click on that one. And while holding down the shift button, we select every of these vertices. We do the same on top and we go back to D003. Now the inside is already done. We have to go over here, right click on that one, shift, and while holding down the shift button, right click on every vertice that you have over here. Same with this one. Select all these. And now we're going to bring it down to the right. Do the same, D value, like that. Only the thing that's left, ah, I forgot one. Click on that one and bring it back to the, the same D value. Oh, sorry, a little bit like this. Okay, same over here. Shift, uh, right click, shift, right click, and ho while holding down the shift button, select every vertex over here and move it to sideways left, also to the same D value. Okay, your bookshelf is proximally done. Um, uh, underneath, I want it a little more thicker, so we're going to select that one, and we're going to move it up. Like this. Should look okay. Okay, now we go to object mode, and we're going to apply my first view or front view from the bookshelf is ready. Um, go back to edit mode and we're going to rotate around the x x So we press R X 90. Oh, sorry for that. Object mode of course. R X 90. We bring it a little more up like that. Good. We're going to add a plane. So add mesh plane. S for scale it up. 
like this. And we're going to add a material to the bookshelf, to the plane. New. I'm going to choose material, let's say brown. As background, because I do something like this. Okay. Good. Now we're going to select the front of our bookshelf. And we're going to extrude it a little bit. So we go to edit mode. And we press E. Z from extrude. Sorry, for, uh, forgot. I have to select everything. So we press A. Once or twice, depending on how much you have selected. Or if you don't have selected anything, just press one times A. Now we go back to E from extrude. In which direction? In the Y direction. Like that. And we have to extrude. I don't know how deep your uh, bookshelf is, but mine is 0 0.6, something like that. Okay, this is looking okay. And we go back to object mode and we're going to give it a color. So, material selection, basic material is white for me. If you want something different, choose anything else. Uh, it looks okay. Now we're going to uh, change the position of the lamp. That's too high. Something again. We're going to make a hemisphere. And we're going to say 0 0.5. And let's have a look where it's looking. We're pressing 7. R to rotate it until over there. A little bit aside. Control D to push it to position another one over there. Rotate R to rotate it like that. And we're going to have a look. Uh, this is looking okay. Now we have to put the camera in the correct uh, position. So we press zero on the numeric keyboard. And we're going to rotate. If you're holding, sorry, forgot. Zero. And now we press N to come to the menu. And we're going to lock camera view like that. Now if you're holding down your mouse key in the middle you can rotate it like you want you say for instance this is looking okay for me you're, you're scrolling in with the, uh, the mouse uh, in the middle and uh, you can zoom in and out and if you want to move up and down hold down the shift button and press the middle mouse key in the middle so you can position it like you want so if your positioning is looking okay then unlock camera view press zero on your memory keyboard and you go to render pay attention put in the correct file format at the correct directory but i think everyone knows it right away and we're going to render and in here you have your bookshelf ready thank you for watching and please if you like my channel subscribe thank you for watching